Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I want to talk about CMDB Intelligent Search. And that is new in Tokyo. And I'm going to start with a deprecation notice. If you look at the release notes in Tokyo for CMDB, you'll see that the CMDB search is being prepared for future deprecation. So if you're using or dependent upon CMDB search, pay attention to this video. I think you're going to like what you see a lot better than how CMDB search worked. And you're going to be able to use this new intelligence search for a better experience. So let's hop over to my showcase instance here. Um, there it is. And we're going to go to the CMDB workspace to start. And front and center on the new CMDB workspace is going to be this new intelligent search. And one of the biggest features about this intelligent search is the use of natural language to query the CMDB. So when I say natural language, I'm talking about you just typing in show me all the Windows servers or show me all the Windows servers that were created last month or something like that. And so you can use your natural language. Now, there is some configuration that you can do to improve the relationships between things in your CNDB and other parts of your ServiceNow platform. So I want you to pay attention to the documentation for this new CMDB intelligent search. Um, obviously, I have not talked long enough for the CMDB workspace to open. There we go. It finally opened. I've got some alerts. I'm going to dismiss those. I was doing some other stuff, so who knows what that did. But this is what I'm talking about. Search right here in the middle. We've got CMDB search in the workspace in addition to everything else down here below. So I've got all of my CMDB stuff that I would expect here, and I've got the ability to come in here and use natural language to ask them for things. Now, there are some search tips. You can see there's single table search, where you just say, show me the applications. There's multi-table search, show me all, or search, show me all services that run on Linux servers, for example. There's some advanced filtering. These are the following keywords that you can use to narrow. So is, not, and, or, empty, not empty stuff that you should be used to seeing. An example, show me all servers in Iowa whose name contains SAP. And then relationships. This is the part where I was saying you might need to go do some configuration around implicit relationships in order to improve the search results that come back when you're using this new intelligent search. But let's get into the demo part here. I'm going to do show me Docker containers. Show me Docker containers is going to query the CMDB and hopefully come back with all the Docker containers that the CMDB is aware of. I'm going to get a list view of those and there they are. I can tell by the container ID that these are Docker containers and I've got about 31 of them. Now I'll highlight here at the top above my head on this one. We can give feedback to the intelligent search mechanism model of whether that was what I expected or not. So there's still some training going on, right? I imagine there's some machine learning going on for some of this, but let's show you another one. I'm going to do show me all database, all databases on, oh, I can't spell databases on Windows servers. Okay. So this one should uh, throw me a pop-up to confirm, oh, you want databases on Windows servers. And you're like, yes, thank you very much, smart application. And it will then open the search results for all of the databases that are residing on Windows servers when it opens the results page so you can see the actual results. And we should have all the databases on the left-hand side and all the Windows servers on the right-hand side. And I actually tested this um, before I recorded this and it worked that time, but it didn't work this time. So let's try one more here. Um, show me all, or I'm going to say show me configuration items located in San Diego. So located is one of those keywords there. Yes, I want to see the bit configuration items, but the key thing is I want to see the ones that are in San Diego. I hope this one has results because I tested this one too, and this is me. So it did find not just where the location was San Diego, but even where the street address had San Diego in the location. So that is a win in my book. I've got all my search results there, 381 items. I'll just go to the eighth page here, make sure that we're still in that location of San Diego. And there we go, that we definitely are in that location. Last one I'm going to show you um, on this one, second to last one, show me software 
installed on servers. Oh, it's my recent search. See, you could tell I practiced um, to make sure this works. So show me software installed on servers. I'm gonna search and we're looking for servers with software installations. Gonna view those search results and I should see instances of software or installed software applications related to the Windows servers or to the servers that they're installed on. So you can see here, this server has SQL Server Standard installed. This server has Exchange Server Enterprise installed. This virtual machine has SQL Server Enterprise Edition Core installed, okay? So that's again, another one. Now, interestingly, on this particular query, there were a lot of results. So we got some buttons to load all the results or load more results. Um, just some performance there to only show certain things to make sure we're getting what we want. Now, this is the last one on this screen I'm gonna show you. Show me all Linux servers running Ubuntu OS. Okay, I was like, I was trying to trip up the system and see if it oh, doesn't know what OS means. And so it prompted me with confirming you're looking for Linux servers, yes. And what I'm hoping to see is a list of Linux servers that are running Ubuntu. And sure enough, it actually worked. I've got operating system as a column and they are all Linux Ubuntu. Um, and I can even see the OS version and manufacturer for those 18 servers that came back from that query. All right, we're not done yet. I've got one more thing because this CMDB intelligent search shows up one more place and it's right behind my head. If you look at here, Query Builder and your quick links on your CMDB workspace, um, Query Builder is gonna take you to a different application where you can build and save CMDB queries for future use for sharing with other people who might need to query the CMDB and might not have a great understanding of how things are related, all the relationships between things. And so you can set them up, save them, and they'll be there for someone to use, which you can see right here, tickets on servers running PostgreSQL, Kubernetes, Cloud Foundry, whatever. I'm gonna do new and we're just gonna go demo for YouTube. And I'm gonna keep this as a sort of CMDB query. I'm not gonna do the service mapping. And the intelligent search that I just showed you in the workspace is actually right here at the top. So if I were to come up here and type, I wanna see virtual machines created, there it is, I tested it first, of course, created more than one year ago. I can come in here and search for that. And not only will it actually build out in CMDB or in Query Builder, the actual stuff here but i've got the filters being applied you can see there just above my head it automatically applied a filter for checking the created date is more than a year ago or greater than a year ago so if i run this i should see any virtual machines that were created more than one year ago simply by typing in that natural language into the cmdb intelligence search and there they are there's my servers i'm actually seeing a windows server it made me pause a little bit so maybe i need to fix it but they were created more than a year ago no they weren't that was june of this year um okay so there are probably some uh changes i can make there but it didn't quite work like i wanted for that but the main point here was to show you that i've got intelligence search um on this particular piece here and i guess i could go um and adjust this created relative to uh, yeah, the drop downs are actually empty. There we go. After one year ago, actually that's the right filter. So I'm not sure why the search results don't match that criteria because that's exactly what it says. But anyways, I'll leave that for some more troubleshooting. If you think you know what's wrong, please leave me a comment down below in the comments. What I want the takeaway to be for you is CNDB search is being deprecated in the future. It's still there. Um, you want to start using the CMDB intelligent search. You can get to it from the workspace. You can get to it from Query Builder like we just did there at the end. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in querying their CMDB in ServiceNow in an intelligent way using natural language. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.